What's up, Survivor Fanatics? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Subsistence. That's right, guys. We're back in Subsistence. It's going to be Season 2, Episode 1, and um, we're going to get into it in a moment, but just for you, you, new, you people who are new, may, may want to wonder, might be wondering what Subsistence is. Uh, subsistence is a sandbox first-person open-world survival game, currently in single-player, uh, which with multiplayer in development. Uh, struggle to build a base and gear up in, a, in the hostile environment. Defend yourself from wildlife and AI hunters who also build bases in the world. Um, this is by Cold Games, and it's $14 right now on Steam. Um, I'm going to talk about it as we get going, but let's get started right now. I'm going to go to start a new solo game. And uh, yeah, so this game's pretty freaking sweet. It's kind of like what I wanted them to do with Rust, where Rust went totally pvp this game is a mixture uh it could be pvp when they put you know when they eventually get multiplayer in but right now it's pve and he seems to care about pve quite a bit so when you start off you're going to start off with an axe and a pistol and a little glow light we're going to look through our stuff we start off with a bandage um some matches uh nine mil ammo an apple and some some uh, bottle of water we have some pants over here and we have lots of stuff we can craft what we're going to want to do first is a wood foundation a wall and a base command unit okay so before we do any of that we're going to have to start you know basically exploring and um gathering materials now right here is our food meters and thirst meter uh the first one's for proteins the second one's for fruit and vegetables uh, and then this is your overall hunger meter this is for your hydration this is for your strength, which I, I think is basically stamina. And then this is for your health. Okay. So let's get let's get started here, man. We gotta find some stuff to oh, careful. Alright, so that's 25 to 25. I think that's a rabbit. Yep. Or a chicken. One of those two. Alright, let's get started here. Alright, let's get going. I'm gonna have to mess around with the FPS a little bit. Uh, the FPS is a little bit lower than I'm willing to deal with. Uh, so I might have to turn down some graphic settings or something. I'm also rendering a video, so... Um, you could go ahead and hold down the left mouse button and hit trees. As you hit trees, wood is going to fly out of the tree. You can see that wood flying out of the tree? Once you get the red X, you can't uh, harvest anymore. And then you're just going to go ahead and press F to pick up the wood. I actually have my inventory uh, on tab, but your inventory is G, just so you know. I just reset it to tab. Um, so that's how you get wood, okay? We're gonna look around the world and just do some exploring. You have to keep an eye out for animals in this world. Uh, you know, if you, if you come across an animal, they're gonna start, you know, growling at you. And if you continue walking in their direction, they are going to attack. And the animals in this game are no joke. Um, yeah, there's one right there. We got a wolf right there, level one wolf. And we've got a, I think that's a black bear. We're gonna go this way. Um, until you until you get yourself a base set up, if you die, you're just like out in the middle of nowhere and you have no idea how to get back to your stuff. This game is hardcore. Uh, the developer of Cold Games is just one guy uh, made this game. He he talks about it as a labor of love. Uh, we got a lockbox right here. Let's take a look. All right, so we got some bullets and some gunpowder. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and load the gun as well. Anyway, uh, Cold Games, one guy made this game. He calls it a labor of love. He's been in talks with me and uh, Game Edge over um, email over the past six months and stuff. Like, I, I played this game, like, six months ago. He, I did get a free copy. Um, I got it before it was on Steam. Um, the game's on Steam for $14. Would I recommend it? You guys got to watch the Let's Play. Uh, you know, not to self-promote, but I'm going to self-promote. Uh, we got matches and more bullet thingies. Um, you gotta watch the Let's Play. This is not a slam dunk. You should definitely get this game right away. Uh, I really like it. I think it's a fun game, but it can be... It, it, uh, well, I haven't played it in about six months, so when I was playing it, it could be a little grindy and very difficult. Um, if you don't mind grindy and difficult, uh, you might want to give it a shot, but I would watch a few episodes. Um, and if you can't wait for me to put up more episodes, go watch Game Edged. He's, uh, he's got a lot of episodes up. Um, I, I'm having a good time, and for $14, I think this is a, I think this is a good deal for me personally. But, you know, your mileage may vary. Um, what do I like most about this game? Uh, what, what I like most about this game is the building. Um, the one thing I love about Cold Games is he puts a... By the way, I'm, pick, I'm picking up uh, fibers. You know, basically, you're going to turn it into rope. Basically, actually, I could probably do that right now. You turn it into cordage. Well, I can't because the first one I picked up wasn't fibrous. It was blueberry. Well, there you go. 
Um, yeah, the building, man. Like, Cold Games really puts a lot of stock into the building. Two things I love about Cold Games. First of all, he cares about the PvE player, which I am, and he cares about building. I mean, that's, like, that's freaking great right there, right off the bat. So, th that's the main thing I love about this game, though. The building is, is off the is off the freaking charts. It's so good. Um, by the way, this is, uh, this is just him basically um, giving us a play field, and you can't go past this fence, you know. Um, which brings me to the one thing I dislike about this game the most. Uh, and I brought this up to Cold Games, and he's, you know, he's one developer. He's got a full-time job. This is not his job. <laughs> he's doing this, like, you know, on the weekends or whenever he has free time and stuff. Kind of like the way I do YouTube, you know. He busts his ass, but, you know, it's it takes time. Uh, but the one thing that I want in this game more than anything is points of interest. Uh, like I said, like, you saw me picking up those, uh, those, those loot crate thingies. That's, all, that's where you're going to get most of your loot from. Uh, almost all of it. And, you know, that, that's a problem for me. I want, like, points of interest. Like, just walking around the, you know, the the woods here and seeing, like, a crate lying on the ground. You know, it's it's a good placeholder, but I really want to see points of interest. Um, but the building, like, I can't even, like, discuss what the building... Uh, basically, he has two... He has two... I don't know what to call them. Resources for building. One is electricity, and one is called uh, mass, I believe it's called. Now, mass, I'm, I'm, is it called mass? I think it's called mass. I can tell you right now. Actually, no, I can't. Well, yeah, n no, I can't. I'm going to have to wait until I actually get a base. Oh, I can make health kits now. These are new to me. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. Anyway, um, mass is kind of like, uh, just like, I'm not even sure how to explain it. It's just mass. It's just, it's just like pieces of like, I'm guessing like pieces of whatever. And it's like, it's really hard to explain. You'll see it when I build the base. It's basically a resource you can get from scrapping down equipment. I like to think of it as unnamed pieces of whatever. Fucking chicken. I'm going to get you chicken. No, I'm not. Um, so yeah, I like to think of it as unnamed pieces of base. You know, that it's just called mass. You get it from scrapping down items. Um, I forget how else you get it. I think you can get it by turning electricity into mass somehow we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get up to the base building you really want to get to the base building as soon as possible as a matter of fact let me go ahead and um cut down some trees i'm gonna try and catch the wood as i cut it thought i saw something over there yeah i did it's a uh a rabbit or a chicken anyway i'm gonna try and catch the pieces as i as i cut it i don't know how game edge does it i think you can just hold down the button there we go oh well I'm not that good at it yet. Alright, so you just gotta pick up the wood off the ground. Alright, let's keep going. Take the wood, and we're gonna what we're gonna do is while we're moving along, we're gonna turn the wood into wood planks. We're also going to take our berries and our water, and we are going to combine them somehow. I think drag these over here. Here, let's do this. Let's uh, split one, and split one, and then drag this over here and mix into berry water. So there you go. So that's giving me uh, 15 fruit, vegetable, 5 hunger, and 32 hydration. Right, we'll go ahead and drink that. So let's do the math. Uh, what is that? Actually, I'm not going to do the math. <laughs> well, it's definitely more fruit and vegetable, because right there is only 13, and that was 15. It's giving you more of everything, I think. So definitely want to do that. All right, we're wasting a lot of time here. we gotta, we got to get to working. we got to make ourselves a foundation. We're going to need nails. Oh, my goodness, we need nails. Let's go ahead and make some cordage. This game does have... Uh, you can get cold in this game. I don't know if you can get hot, but I know you can get cold. So if you get caught out at night, you want to like make yourself a campfire. You gotta stay away from these wolves. I do have a pistol, but the you know the animals in this game are no joke, man. Like if they catch you, you know unless you're like ready or you got. I can't move. There we go. No, I still can't move. Oh my god, it's growling at me. Growled at me twice. What they'll do is, if they growl at you the second time, they'll start stalking you. You know? So you gotta be careful. Um, a couple times I've died because, like, I didn't, I, like, they growled a couple times, but then I didn't see them. And the animal just slowly, like, made it, almost like it was tracking me. Oh, God. This isn't good. Hold on. Is he coming at me? I can't tell. This is, it's worth it to try. Get out of here. This wouldn't be a bad place for a base. Maybe. 
Alright. We gotta find some more of everything. <laughs> this game's like hardcore, guys. Like, no joke, man. How do you duck? Oh, C is the duck? That's not gonna work. <laughs> Sorry, cold game's not gonna work for me. Um, crouch is obviously control. There we go. Alright, a little bit of, you know, remapping of the tools, but, you know, or the, or the controls, but it's fine. I should make some more 9 mil. Can I make 9 mil? I can. Uh, there you go. That shows what it takes. Let's go ahead and make some more 9 mil. Just in case we gotta shoot a wolf in his stupid wolf face. We should also start by... We should start making a campfire soon, too. Just so we have one when we're ready. I seem to be getting a decent amount of, uh, of stuff, though, so that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Alright, so let's go here. Let's take a look at the... Oh, pickaxe, yeah. I've never made a pickaxe. Campfire, we need some sticks. We need some wood, okay. Alright, let's get some wood. Let's get some wood, people! I think he just mashes on the... Yeah, there you go. If you look up, you can you can do it like that. But then you'll hear me mashing on the F key. Alright, let's go ahead and make some sticks. Let's get some more wood. This game's uh, very grind intensive. I will be showing a lot of the grinding in the first few episodes, but then I'll probably start cutting it out. I can't cut too much of it out, though, because if I cut out all the farming, then I really don't have much of a video to show. I'll be, you know, playing for like three hours just to get one video done. I can't can't afford that. So, <laughs> But um, I will cut out as much of the grinding as I can. Maybe I'll do some of it on stream. Alright, so campfire. We need more sticks. More sticks, huh? Okay. Alright, this game is very intense. You know, it's definitely the most intense game I've ever played with just animals. Like wolves and bears. Like, well, that's not really true. Uh, the Long Dark was probably just as tense. But you get, you get my drift. It's pretty crazy considering you're just fighting some wolves and bears. It's not like, you know, hordes of zombies and, or anything like that. But, um, yeah, once you start hearing them growling and everything, it gets really, really scary. He definitely lowered the amount of uh, animals in the game since last time I played. Alright, so that's a lock chest. You need, a, you need a lock to unlock that. And if you do unlock it, there is a crap ton of stuff in there. So, that's something we're going to want to get eventually. Can we make cordage yet? Yes, we can. Have I found any any metal yet? We got the hardest thing that's gonna be able to make is the base command unit, and I've not found any scrap metal or electronics yet, which is a damn bummer. Or enough nails. Mm. Not good. Not good. Like I said, until you get that, until you get a floor, a wall, and that base command unit up, you're kind of nomad. So, yeah, not good. Not good at all. Honestly, if I don't get a base up by episode two. I will probably just do it off camera. Because <laughs> it's it, it's a lot of luck involved, you know? Like, if you find the right items or what or whatnot. Alright, that is not worth it over there. Let's go this way. Looks like it's a little bit afternoon. Probably like 2... 2 p.m. probably. Just gotta be careful. By the way, there's nodes you can mine on those walls and stuff. I'm just gonna leave them alone for now. Um, you can mine them with the axe, but I'm going to choose to leave them alone until I have the pickaxe. Because I don't really need them, to be honest, right now, anyway. I think I see a metal thing. Yeah, here we go. Scrap metal. Cool. Just got some scrap metal. Is that only one piece? Oh, ouch. That's gonna take a long time. Alright. Um, I kinda wanna pause the video, but at the same time, guys, like, stuff could go down at any point. This game can turn on you in a flash. You could be going along, doing well, getting some stuff. All of a sudden, the bear's on you. Oh, you're dead. You lost all your stuff. You don't know where your base is. Your bag will disappear after a certain amount of time. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if you die, you're probably going to lose what you have on you. Is this another lockbox? Oh, okay. Wait, was that other one a lockbox? It looked just like this. Um, okay, now I'm starting to think if that one was really locked. Oh, well, it's gone. I held, I held that in F. It said it was locked. I'm going to have to watch the video back. The box I got before that one, I thought it said it was locked. Like, I held down the button and it wasn't working. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. 
Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, freaking chicken, you scared the hell out of me. All right, how am I doing with the base command unit? All right, so we need some more electronic components. We need some more wood as well. Honestly, I'm not going to bother getting the wood until I get this stuff for the... Well, I mean, I guess I could. If I find a good place to build, I could start putting stuff down. I can make a foundation. Oh, I got enough nails for the foundation. Uh, let's make some more wood planks. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could put down a foundation. The problem is if I die... You know, there's a good chance I might not be able to find the foundation. I just wasted all my time. Oh, this looks like an interesting place. Maybe. Maybe. Could build here? I don't know. Possibly. I can't do too much with it, but... Maybe. Kind of wanted a bigger... I want to build on a rock face for sure. I'm just not sure. Well, you know what? Until I get the base command unit, I'm not going to worry about it. Alright. Split one. Split one. Mix. And drink. Do it again. Split one. Split one. Mix and drink. I wonder what happens if I mix Mix just... Yeah, let's let's see what happens. Mix berry into water. Yes, yeah, so you could do one at a time. Okay, so I, I was wasting my time doing that. Okay, well, good to know. I'm going to have a problem with protein. Have I gotten any uh, protein bars? I have not. Damn it. There are protein bars in the game. So we're going to have to keep a lookout for those. They're going to be in chests. Uh, here we go. I don't see any baddies in the area. Just a stupid... I, I'm guessing the 30 hit point thing is a... Yeah, it's a rabbit. You know what I think I did wrong on the last chest? I think I was holding down E. Oh, I got some seeds. I think, remember that chest that I thought was locked? I think I was holding down E. Because that's like what I, like usually E is the key that I use, you know. For action things, but yeah, I think that's what happened. Oh, uh, well. Alright, so let's take a look around here. Uh, yeah, I might just do the, you know what, I just might set up a base command unit off camera at this point. Even for next video. You guys, I mean, you guys get the drift. You, you know what's going on, you know what I have to do. Um, you know, showing all this is just mindless running around. Um, yeah, I don't really like this spot. Be careful when walking down those things. You can easily break a leg. All right. So, lockbox thingy over here. Chest, whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't like calling it a lockbox because it makes me think it's locked. What does it actually say? It doesn't say anything. It says it's unlocking, so... I'm the master of unlocking. Face it. Okay. Well, he, Cold Games has definitely done wonders with this game. Like I said, um, I've been watching Game Edge play it, and um, I'm really psyched, and I like the fact that I'm getting more items quicker. Uh, I always thought this game was a little bit too stingy, you know, on the items, but I seem to be getting... I seem to be getting a pretty good amount of items from the ch from the uh, the chest at the moment, so. I got all three of those, didn't I? Nope. Just two. There we go. Alright, I really need to find a place to build. And I need to find more electronic parts. How many do I need? All of them, probably. Yeah, I still need three more. Man, my goodness. I'm actually getting a good amount of stuff, though. I can't complain about the loot. It's been it's been a lot better than it's been in the past. I don't like going in the forest. I don't think I'm going to go in the forest. I think I'm going to go this way. I think this way is the way to go. So you guys, um, have you guys bought this game yet? Or, like, what, what do you think? I mean, I remember when I was playing this... You know, way back in the day, like like I said, like six months ago, people were like like begging me to like, oh, is this going to be on Steam soon? I want to play, I want to play, I want to play. So I looked at the Steam reviews and, you know, so far it's only been up for a couple days, but it's gotten mostly positive reviews, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's a fun game. I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't. Uh, I just feel like the points of interest thing needs to be a priority. And um, Cold Games has always uh, made the grind a bit too grindy for my taste. But with that being said... 
the grind is seems pretty good so far right now. I'm not I'm not I don't have any I don't have anything bad to say about the items I'm getting from these chests. I think it feels just about right. Um, and like I said, before you get that base command unit up, though, man, you're kind of, you know, you're screwed. <laughs> Especially, I mean, if you die, you're, you're done, man. Like, you're pretty, basically starting over. You'll never find your corpse, probably. Unless you really know the map. This is not a pre, uh, pre -gener this is not a randomly generated map. This is a, a custom-built map. Um, so you can learn it, you know. It reminds me a lot of Rust in the early, like, a lot of Rust, like, except not quite as far along as it was when I played Rust. Like, kind of like a proto-Rust, like a before Rust, without PvP, which, you know. Oh, and by the way, uh, Cold Games knows that uh, Game Edge and I are chomping at the bit to play this game in co-op. Um, so as soon as this thing comes up for multiplayer, uh, Game Edge and I will be all over it, and maybe we'll get Pam and, and Ono and everyone involved if they if they feel like it. Alright, so... Yeah, so have you guys bought it? Have you been playing it? What, what, what are your thoughts? Like, what are your... You guys should put up some pictures or something of your bases and stuff. I'm really curious. Because I'm telling you, man, the building in this game is phenomenal. It's so good. I have a real pet peeve with companies that don't put thought and effort into their building mechanics. Um, oh, careful. Careful. Oh, God. Hold on, I gotta thread the needle. Oh, Jesus, he's pissed. Yeah, see, so he's gonna, he's gonna, oh, he turned around. Hmm. He didn't stalk as, as often, as, as long as I thought he was going to. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, a pet peeve of mine is when games, like, put building mechanics, but don't really put a lot of thought into them or seem to care about them much. Um, I'm a big fan of the building mechanics, uh, and uh, these, this guy, one guy, he cares. He cares about the building mechanics. So, pretty, pretty happy about that. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more cordage. I mean, the game's gotten so much better even than the first time I played it. This is just fantastic. Oh, my stamina is destroyed because I have no protein. All right, that's it. It's the best I can do for my stamina. I didn't find any protein bars, huh? Am I not? Am I missing them? Or yeah, it sucks. I was watching Game Edge play. He found tons of protein bars. I need my protein bars. They do have a snow area, and you can go to it, and you will freeze to death in it. <laughs> I don't know if you'll freeze to death in it, but it, it gets cold there. You can uh, you could do things like uh, put down a, a campfire. Or wear clothes or something like that to, you know, defend against the cold. Um, they actually have an indoor, like, wood-burning stove you can make later. That's what I'm talking about, man. Like, they, the guy cares about the building. Like, it's just so cool. Like, an indoor wood-burning stove. That's awesome. Most most developers would be like, alright, just put your, put your campfire inside. It's, it's good. It's good. No, man. I don't want a campfire inside. I want a damn wood-burning stove, bro. Where's my wood-burning stove, bro? Oh man, this this is rough. This is rough, guys. Okay, so this is a problem. Uh, I know Cold Games watches my videos. Cold Games, congratulations on going uh, live on Steam, by the way. Um, this thing, the base command unit, I, I think you should start with this. <laughs> or it should be a lot easier to make. Um, because until you get it, you're just, you know, you're kind of screwed, you know? Like, if you die, it's over. And, like, I don't know. I just feel like the base command unit should be easier to make or you should start with it. Start with one. Just my own personal opinion. Take it for what you will. Uh, Cold Games does listen to the... If you guys have any... You know, if you guys are playing this game and you have any, you know, thoughts or anything about... You know, anything about the game. Direction it should go. Whatever. Uh, Cold Games will listen to you. He won't always do what you say. Uh, believe me, I know from, you know, experience. But he will listen to you. And it's definitely worth letting him know your thoughts on the matter. So... I would do that if I were you. Alright, we're going to play for a few more minutes here. I'd really like to get enough of this base command unit. It's also hard to talk in this game when you're playing, because you're always listening for those growlings of the, you know, of the animals. You really got to hear it. It's, it's going to be the difference between life and death. 
Alright, hold on, let's be quiet here. If nothing else, give us more electronical parts quicker. I mean, I've only got one. Although, you can't just take one test case and be like, well, Cage didn't get any electronical parts, I guess you gotta put more- No, that's not the way it works. I understand that, but... <laughs> I just want it to be known that I'm not getting the parts I need for it. So, if you hear other people not getting their, you know, base command muted up early enough, then maybe you might want to look into that. I do love the uh, fact that it looks like the, uh, looks like there's less animals in the game. And that and that's a freaking godsend, man. Because when I, when I used to play, it was just, phew, ugh, my, my heart couldn't take it. All right, that's all the metal we need. And now we just need that. All right. All right, guys, I guess we're going to call this one here. I'm going to continue working on this uh, base command unit. If you guys are excited for this Let's Play, if you want to see more, make sure you like and thumb up the video. Uh, if you think you might like the game, keep watching the videos. And, you know, you're going to get an idea of whether you like this game by episode, you know, five. Uh, if you feel a little adventurous, go ahead and buy it. I mean, I think it's worth it, but I can't speak to everybody. Everybody has different, you know different tastes in these games. So that's going to be it for episode one. We'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy. A little bit of a post video commentary here. <laughs> like the, the second supply container I hit had three electronical com elect electrical components in them. So I think game, I think, uh, I think cold games is making uh, changes on the fly. <laughs> All right. See you later guys.